Welcome back. You wouldn't necessarily think painters and sculptors could be right up front offering much help protecting society from COVID-19, but a group of them in Dallas has now found a way to combine their talents, and they're making something that is in desperate need. J.D. Miles tonight with a special Ones for Texas story that you will only see here on CBS 11. Stephen Fusil's artwork should be on display and for sale at festivals this time of year. But with all of them canceled, his beautiful art instead hangs in storage. Yeah, it is a hardship. Um, you know, I was expecting to do um, a good 20 to 30 percent of my living over the next month. Fusil works out of the Acme Creation Lab near downtown Dallas. It's a 9,000 square foot community workspace for artists and inventors who now have nothing but time on their hands and a strong desire to help those combating COVID 19. The whole thing pops around the front. They came up with the idea to build face shields for healthcare workers and first responders using some of the same supplies and tools they also use to make art. We're creators and we're makers of uh, something out of nothing. Well, it's good to have something to do in quarantine. <laughs> Ian Thorburn owns the lab where several artists have been working nonstop, only limited by a shortage of supplies and a need for better machinery. Currently, these artists are able to produce about 12 face masks an hour. But if someone donated an industrial press or some plastic, they say they could make at least 1,000 an hour. So our biggest uh, hurdle right now is finding um, 0.02 uh, polycarbonate sheets uh, in which to make these out of. 100 face shields made here will be sent today to a hospital in California. There are plans to offer many more to local medical centers and first responders if needed. You could say these face shields are works of art and someday may be considered priceless. And so if we could help 150 people from being sick, it'd be absolutely worth it. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. I will simply say because Texas.